wanna yard. Don't wanna drink no more. Hey, 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 hey. Yeah, what band was that? Yeah, yeah, go way back in the 80s. That's, that's it makes me kind of old. Anyway, there's a nice fight tomorrow night that I really wanted to cover. I'm not trying to make this stuff rhyme. It just happens all the time. You know what I mean? Oh, it happened again. Whatever. I know. I, shut up, Eduardo. Anyway, looking at this, this is uh, James Kirkland versus Carlos Molina. And this is uh, for the... Uh, uh, it's kind of like the uh, light middleweight elimination bout thing. You know, the winner of this is going to get a shot at this is the WBC uh, light middleweight title. And uh, I'm going to break both fighters down and then I'll give my prediction at the end. We start with James Kirkland who is 31-0 and with 27 knockouts. It's like a 87% knockout ratio. Very, very high. Just came off a devastating uh, a knockout basically victory over Alfredo Angulo. And yeah, his chin still looked maybe a little questionable, or was he backing up when he got hit? He went down, he was able to weather it, so we saw his heart and his, uh, you know, just that, that rugged de determination kind of kind of deal, his will, you know, not to not to go down again. And he even came back and was winning that round at the end and by dropping Angula in the first round. Angula. And you have to realize that Ann Wolf is back, man. And these two together are a freakishly devastating team. And he's got that monster power. He has that vicious left hand, and the hooks from either hand are, are power. Power. I mean, he occasionally throws a jab, but most of his shots are power. The uppercuts that he rips up are, are nasty, you know, and, and he pounds the body. He's When he gets in there, man, he is fighting you. This isn't, you know, it's how pretty I can throw a jab. That jab comes out and it's as rugged as all hell and it pounds your head back, you know. He really comes to uh, to do that. Um, when you start looking at it, you know, he applies a freakish amount of pressure. I mean, he pressured Angulo. Angulo was not used to that. And he imposed his will on him. This is a pretty big 100 and 154 pound guy. I mean, he could easily fight middleweight. You know, he's 5'9", 70, 70 inch reach, so his arms are a little compact, but He's, he is a warrior in there. When you look at him, it's what you would envision a warrior to be. You know, he's a very intimidating looking guy. Going over to Carlos Molina. Oh, and, and Kirkland's got the stamina, it looks, you know. I mean, he, uh, him and Ann Wolf, they're training. They're, they're ready for it. Then you go over to Molina, who's 19, 4, and 2. And arguably two of his lo or losses or draws, per se, could easily be wins or over a Slandy, uh, or a Slandy Lara. What's up with these names, man? Anyway, you know he very easily could have won that fight and the Julio Cesar Chavez fight the first time. You know that that was a draw. You know the one blemish on Chavez's record, I think. Maybe it's one of two blemishes. Anyway, he uh, did a draw there, and people thought he won. He's only got six knockouts, so we know he really doesn't have the power. He pushes the pace, and he's very active, and he throws a lot of combos. And that's how he kind of does his thing. You know, and he he works the body well. He waits until the later round. He's kind of sneaky about it. And he almost uh, got Cintron with that. Um, Perez, pretty much the same way. When you start watching him, he does, he does this uh, quite often. And... You know, he he looks to tie you up the second you get inside, you know, to kind of negate that stuff, and then he'll work the body and stuff, and he does use his speed. And I think that's going to be the one thing that he's going to be able to use in the Kirkland, against Kirkland, is his speed and try and keep that distance away from Kirkland. The problem is he only has the six knockouts, and he's not going to have the power to keep Kirkland away from him. And this is, uh, but, you know, Ishida only had, you know, like 11 out of 40 fights or something like that, and... You know, that seemed to do the trick. And his punches, they, they, they come, come in bunches. I'm not trying to rhyme anymore. And uh, that is going to, you know, weigh for him or help him out tremendously in this fight. And he's got good stamina, you know. He, but he's not fighting like 8,000, 12 rounders. But then again, neither is Kirkland. You know what I'm saying? I mean, his go the distance a lot more so than Kirkland. <laughs> Molina's went the distance more in his last five fights than Kirkland ever has in his 31. So, 
when looking at all this, you know, the power I think is going to be the key. You have a fighter that could fight middleweight against a another fighter that could actually fight at welterweight at 147. And the 147 is Molina. And the 160 is Kirkland. And when you start looking at that, I think the power and the size are really going to be factors in this fight. The Kermit Cintron fight, Cintron was coming back after a 14-month layoff. Cintron is a welterweight. Okay, so you, you really need to factor these in, you know. Majority of his fights, majority of Molina's fights are at welterweight. Or at 152, whatever that catchweight thing is, you know. This isn't. This is 154. And... I think it's really going to show. I think you're going to see the power difference very, very early. And Molina is susceptible to uppercuts. And I think that's going to be the key in this. The second Molina gets in there, when he leans, he kind of leans forward a little bit too much. The chin's not tucked in. It's not protected. The shoulder's not rolled up to kind of catch the uppercuts that come in. And you're going to see, you know, uh, Kirkland snap that head back. And it's going to be, be a knockout. And... I'm going to go out on a limb here, and, and uh, you know, some people are always like, well, you always say like seventh or eighth round. I'm actually going with like a third round knock, knockout in this fight. I know Molina's never been knocked out, but Molina's also never fought somebody with the power of Kirkland. And I think if Angulo fought uh, Molina, it might be the same way as well. So I'm going with a third round knockout, James Kirkland, the winner. Uh, please comment, rate, subscribe, let me know what you think. And, uh, yeah, have a great weekend. I'm, I'll pump out some more vids. Whatever. Shut up, man. Shut up, man. Whatever it was. All right. I'm out.